Hi everybody, it's Steve Grisetti, co-founder of MoviePicks.com and author of the MoviePicks.com guide to CyberLink Power Director Ultimate, and here we are in Power Director Ultimate. Oftentimes when you're editing, you have a long video clip. It might be a minute, might be five minutes, might be ten minutes, but you only want to use a small segment or a couple of small segments from it. Now you could drag the clip down to the timeline and chop it up and trim it, and that would be one way to get just down to the uh, cream of the crop of the video. But there are tools built into PowerDirector that allow you to pre-trim or pre-cut your video so that when you add your video clip to the timeline, you only get the segment or segments from the longer video that you actually want. Now I have a clip here in the media room. It is made up of several short segments and I only want to use some of them. Now there are a number of tools and I just want to give you a brief overview of all of the tools you can use to pre-cut your video. If I right click and select pre-cut, the program opens into a trimmer tool, also called, I guess, the pre-cut designer, in which you can select only the segment of the longer video you want. So these are in and out points, these yellow hashtags here at the end. And if I only wanted, say, a few seconds, this short segment of the video, I could put the in point here, and I could put the out point at the end of that segment. And now this is the only portion of the video. If I were to click OK and then drag the video clip to the timeline, this is the only portion of the video that would appear on the timeline. So that's one way to pre-trim it. To go to the next level up, you go over here to the multi-trimmer here in the pre-cut designer. In multi-trimmer, I can trim out several segments from a single clip. So I'm going to move these in and out points here to define a different segment, say right here. And you notice that the segment appears on the right hand side. Now if I move the playhead a little further down here to another segment I want and I click mark in point, mark out point, now I've created a second segment and I can go on and on like that. Again, only taking the segments from this longer video that I actually want. So that when I add this clip over here, from the media room to the timeline, only the segments that I've designated will appear on the timeline. Now you notice there's a pre-trim or a scene detection button here. Don't worry about that. I'm going to show you another way to access that and show you the results of the automatic scene detection tool. So we'll click cancel. A little more high level version of the pre-cut tool is if I right click on that clip in the media room, I can select edit using content aware editing. Now when you do content aware editing, the program does a quick analysis of the clip. It's going to check out, find out where there are faces, where there are voices, where there's camera movement, where there are places where the camera might be so shaky you might want to add some kind of stabilization to it. But the program is going to automatically define the best segments based on certain qualities for you, making it easier for you to choose the best segments from your clip. So let's see what it shows us from this clip. Notice all these little indicators here where there are faces, where the camera was panning or moving, where there was maybe some shakiness that we could fix by clicking on that little wrench. And if I move the playhead through here, you can see the program actually defined with these little flags uh, places where I saw the content change, right? Where we saw people walking here and now we're seeing a close up of this woman and the program automatically indicated those segments for us. So if I wanted to add a segment, I would once again, just click mark in point, mark out point, and then click on add to selected. And the program will ask you if you want to fix some of the quality issues. Uh, I'm going to not only say no, I'm going to say don't show that again. And there is my selected segment. I can again select several segments from that longer clip. And each one that I add to selected will appear over here. Once more, as I drag that clip from the media room to the timeline, only these selected cream of the crop clips will appear on the timeline. Click cancel. Show you one more thing you can do. This is a little more semi-automatic. I'm going to right click and select detect scenes. This is like the scene detector we saw in the pre-cut designer workspace. Click detect scenes. The program is going to do an analysis of the video and look at that. It already selected each of these scenes for me. It broke up these scenes based on content it saw in the video. And I can choose whether I want them or not. So if I select this scene, I can select the option to remove scene move scene, I can actually hold down the control key 
select several scenes and then right click and say remove scenes and it gets rid of all of those. So as before, when we add the clip here from the media room to the timeline, only the designated scenes or the selected scenes will appear. It's kind of cool. Program does some things automatically, some things semi-automatically. It's up to you at what level of automation you want to work with, but you can pre-trim the longer clips and only get the best clips on the timeline. You want to know more about this program? Check out my tips and tutorials at moviepix.com. And if you want to know everything about CyberLink PowerDirector Ultimate, look for the moviepix.com guide to CyberLink PowerDirector Ultimate. It's available at amazon.com. I'm Steve Grisetti, the author. Hope to see you again real soon.